What's up guys, this video is a quick tutorial for those who would like to play Deadly Creatures, a Nintendo Wii game on a PC using an emulator. I'm gonna cover the following points in this video. Playing the game on the PC using an emulator and the controls of the game, mouse and keyboard bindings. So let's see what we're gonna need. First of all the game itself. The working files used by me are called deadlycreatures.iso and rdcp78.wbfs. Then we're gonna need an emulator. I used the latest Dolphin version 5.0. And for further reference, these are the specs of my PC. So let's go. Install Dolphin and open it after that. And open the deadly creature CD image within the Dolphin. If it starts, it's fine. So far, so good. Let's close the emulation for now. In Dolphin, click on config, then copy my settings over to your emulator as seen here. Then click on graphics and copy my settings over again. Obviously if your GPU doesn't support DirectX 11 then choose DirectX 9. Also for better performance you can change the internal resolution in the enhancements tab. I've used 3 times native resolution but the default Wii resolution is 640 by 528. Using these settings with my PC, with the specs seen before, I've achieved a stable, more or less constant 30-40 FPS. Sometimes the game lagged, but it never went below 20-25 FPS. Next up is the controllers menu, use these settings. Under V modes, click configure next to the emulated V mode, then copy these keybinds. After that, under extensions, select Nunchuck, then click on Configure and copy these keybinds as well. Click on all OK buttons and start the game. You can run the game full screen by pressing Alt Enter or by clicking on the full screen button. OK, now onto the controls. First, I'm gonna say the Nintendo controller button, then the corresponding keyboard or mouse key. So in the menus, the A button is the mouse left click, with it you can select things in the menus. The B button is the mouse right click, with it you can go back in the menus. You can use the arrow keys to navigate in the menus. In game, you can view the menu using the plus button aka the E key. You can navigate this menu using the keys mentioned just a moment ago. Using the minus key aka the Q button, you can check the objectives or the latest messages. Using button or key 1 you can look around in a first person perspective. Using button or key 2 you can see the objective arrow. You can see the V menu using the enter key but that's really not necessary. You can control the spider and the scorpion using the usual WASD keys. The A button aka the mouse left click attacks, the B button aka mouse right click charges up the venom attack later in the game. With the spider, use the C button aka the left control key to target your web shots or stealth pounce attacks. This very key is used by the scorpion to start finishing moves as well. Using the Z button aka the left shift key, you can jump with the spider or block with the scorpion. Now let's talk about the icons appearing on the screen during quick time events for example. This is a Nintendo V controller. This corresponds to moving the mouse up, down or left, right. This is a Nintendo Nunchuck controller. You can move this in every direction by smashing the spacebar like a madman. Say, for example, you see this on the screen. This means you have to move the mouse left and right and smashing the spacebar continuously. As with digging and cutting grass with the scorpion, you only need to smash the spacebar. Also, the battering ram attack with the scorpion. If you press space without blocking, you can dash with the scorpion. As for the regular attacks, left click and mouse up down or left right. For example, left click and mouse left right is a bitch slap. Left click and mouse up and down is overthrow. With the spider, the quick web shot is the control key. Targeting means holding down the control key. The stealth pounce is holding down the control key, targeting, then pressing the left mouse button. The only attack I couldn't perform is the burrowing attack of the scorpion, but that's unnecessary or at least not needed to finish the game. Alright, so that's about it. If you happen to have questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. To answer the question, where did you download the game? My answer is really simple, use the internet. Good luck guys and have a nice one.